Hi, so in this example, we're going to approximate the area under the curve from 3 to 7 using four divisions and left endpoints. And we'll just estimate to do decimal places. So it's an estimation, so we'll just do our best. So if we need to estimate from 3 to 7, this means that, let me block it out. I'm going to use a thicker pen, okay? So from 3, oh, that's too thick. Let's see. <laughs> Let's make it a little thinner. There we go. There we go. 3 to 7. So there it is. Okay. So in this, we could see that if we want four subdivisions, we can see that we have one, two, three, four. Now we do know that delta x, the difference or the base of each rectangle, is given by the formula b minus a over n. So you could do that and say, well, this is 7 minus 3 over 4. And then you see that it's 4 over 4, which is 1. And sure enough, the delta x, or the base of your rectangle, is one unit. And we can see that it'll be one here, 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 here. Now, if we're using left endpoints, and I just want to point this out, this is going to be starting flush to the left, right? So let me do that. So here, I'm going to have this left point like that. There we go. Then the next point is about here. And I'm going to go ahead and do a rectangle there. The next point here. So I'm doing four rectangles, all with a base. Sorry, that didn't work out well. <laughs> um, all with a base of one using left endpoints. So you can see that it it kind of leaves, we're going to have a little underestimate here, right? We kind of leave a little chunks out. And if I want to go ahead and just kind of lightly highlight, I like highlighting just the rectangles so students can see that we're actually not getting the actual error, but just finding area four rectangles and adding them up. So what we need to do now is go ahead and say, okay, the area of four rectangles, or we could use L sub 4 using left endpoints for rectangles. That would mean that we would need the um, area of the base, right, which is 1, so it's delta x, times the height, meaning that ordered pair at f of um, 3, plus delta x times the next y value, which is f of 4, plus delta x times the next x value, which is f of 5. And that last ordered pair we can see is just going to be f of 6. So we can see that left endpoint leaves you all the way far to the left and will not use this right endpoint. Right? And I talk about that in the lecture, too. You flush to the left with left endpoints, flush to the right with right endpoints. And so we do know exactly what delta x is. It's 1. But for these little ordered pairs, that's where we have to get that estimate from. So I would just estimate that this is about 2.8 plus 1.5 times, I don't know, 3.4 plus 1 times 4.6. I don't know how close I'm going to get, but this is how I see it. And then the last one right here is about 4.2. And then I would just go to the calculator and add those all up. So I would come here and say 2.8 times 1, which is 2.8, and then 1 times 3.4, which is 3.4, plus 4.6, and then plus 4.2. And I get about 15. Right, so I should say like this. There we go. And that's all there is to it. And we can see here's the exact uh, formula, and then here's the estimation. So as long as you're um, estimating and being getting close enough, uh, that's fine. So I hope this helps.